All right, so now let's hope it's still working. So this is what I do on a on a break. We're gonna walk over here and get water. So you guys are gonna watch the grass grow. So this is kind of a test to see if my shirt is still working. I've got a green light that tells me that's working. So look, she's actually sniffing right now. When we were at uh, when we were at Cottonwood after we did some work and play, you want some water? No? Okay. Uh, she, uh, she would refuse to sniff. Usually after you do some stuff and you go give them a break, they're going to sniff around. There she goes. A little bit of sniffing. Now again, sniffing is prey drive. So it's kind of keeping her back. So that's why you do a break. Once they start pulling, you have to give to get. Oh crap, I didn't put that thing straight. Right? So for this, I don't need the long line. Good girl. Right? For this, we don't need the long line. We need this right here. Right? We're just going to do a little back and forth. If she's hyper aware. Let's see, we got little kitty cats down there running around in the alleyway. Straight redirection. That probably could have and should have been a correction. Good girl. Okay. Oh, yeah. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Yeah. Good. Right? You have to give them, a, give them an outlet. Tugging. Flirt pull, fits to a lesser degree. Oh, well, I mean, it's chasing the ball, but it's fulfilling and satiating that need. I think what I'm going to do, I kind of started going to pressure with her droplets. I think I need to stick with this one too. The reason I went to pressure is because I'm thinking food, prey, right? Ready? Stop it. You hear a little frustration there? Ooh. She doesn't want to drop it. Good girl. It's eye contact. Good girl. Okay. Ah. Right? So as she's looking at me, I'm telling her, good girl, nice and calm. Right? And then you start to play with the okay. Yeah, get it out, girl. Get it out. Oh, yeah. Get it. Uh, and usually what I've been doing is just letting her tug. If she looks away from straight ahead, that's when I start tugging more. I didn't right there, but. Right? So, like, here I'm just letting her do her thing. If she was to look sideways, that's when I start tucking. Yeah. I mean, I can still do it, but I got a one hand. Wait till she's done. Drop it. Trying to give a little more of a pause there. Good. Good girl. So you see her starting to hop. That's because I'm moving my fingers to get them on the handles. I should be better about that. Good girl. Okay. You know, I catch myself all the time presenting the toy straight in front of me. And I always say something about it. And uh, I saw another, another. Oh, well, I'm supposed to start heel drills. Dang it. I'm supposed to do one or two and then do heel drills. How many did we do? Two or three? Right, so the reason I want to change a lot is trying to get her to change her mentality more, right? It's more practice of her changing her mindset. Did he drop it? No, drop it. So here, good. So see there? Um, in other ones, in other ones, I was having to use pressure. That one just grabbing the leash made her stop, right? 
you see how she gets food and immediately starts looking for the squirrels. Ready, let's go. Uh, a cat no longer playing in the alley. Very nice turn. Good girl. Typically, I would use food right there because so so look. There's a we need to build value in us, right? In moments like that, when they do good, building value. Is However, food and play are both prey drive, and what we're trying to do with her is get her to change gears, get out of that prey drive all the time. Always in prey drive, she is. Right? So, see, we got some nice... We got some nice turns. So, right, so you go out and you play. Good girl. You Good. You play to satiate that... that uh, Pray drive five, ten minutes, right? Get some of it fulfilled. Settle it down a little. Now she can pay attention a little bit. All right, good girl. So now let's try a little bit of our obedience work that we haven't been working enough on. Ready, sit. Good. Down. Yes. I should do that backwards. One of my big things about stays and downs is breaking off. But I did a good yes. As soon as her belly was down, I yes and moves. Right? So that's something that I'm working on for me. Right? Ready? Down. Yes. There we go. That's better. Right? I did my yes. And she's kind of slow, even following the food. So that's another one I'm trying to get. Usually by now, I would not be using bait, right? So I have this numbers thing in my head. And it's depending on who you listen to. People say, don't get stuck on the numbers, don't get stuck on the bait. Some people say that you get a better response. So it's when that's the hard part of listening to what everybody says and trying to apply it is sometimes with certain dogs you don't progress as fast as you think you should because you're and the other part is you have to be consistent you can't do it one or two days and say oh it's not working you have to give it time and everything it's one of the things i hate about this business is everything is a process right ready down yes i was slow that time Um, I should have her on the long line to do a stay. We can just do a duration though, ready? You can go like this. Ready, sit, and stay. Right, so there's a little duration. A delay. Nope, stay. Stay. I threw her off. Nope, stay. Good. Stay. Break. That's what I should have done. So I've never said stay and then walk off without using the hand. What I should have done is said, and I've never done it from the side or have we? I can't remember. So let's go back into another play. Good. Oh, see that? The butterfly gets them. Those things get everybody there, right? Good. That's a pretty good turn, right? Good. Break. I don't know why I said break. We weren't doing a heel. We were just walking. Ooh, we got your legs. We got your legs. <laughs> we got your leg, Connor. Come on, dude. Let me get that off your leg. Good. Get it. Get it. I think we're about out of time. So we're going to do this last tug. Let's see if we can get a good drop. It. Oh, get it, girl. Come on, get it. Yeah. Good. And I'm kind of being hard on the tug, too, right? So I'm doing it too much tugging. All right. 
Ready? Drop it. Nope. Drop it. All right. So now I am going to press it. Good. Good. Okay. So now let's see if we get a good drop it. Right, so if I have to nope drop it, I'm going to go to the pressure. Girl, what you going for my handle for? Drop it. Nope, drop it. Good. Okay. She's like, what the hell? Right, so the pressure becomes kind of a negative consequence of not doing it, right? Of not following the note. You don't want to nope. This is one thing I don't like to note drop it a bunch of times. Whereas other things I'll be like, nope, reset. Drop it. Now she's not tugging, so I can go food first. You're a good girl. They don't care. So let's do a little heel drills and put you up. You be your breakfast. Let's just do one figure eight because I'm pretty sure. Uh, hey, you know what? I'm not using my phone. I can tell. Good girl. I can tell what time it is. Oh, 8.47. See, we still got time, girl. You're a good girl. All right. Correction and pressure is so bad. It's their human emotions. If... If you would take your human emotions out of stuff that we do with dogs, the dogs would be better off now like they used to be. All this anxiety and all that crap that people talk about dogs having, that's our fault. We create that crap. Oh, very nice. All right. So let's end it on that. Good girl. You know what? I am going to give her some rewards here. Even though it's prey drive. Mm. All right, let's turn this off.